mom's gonna be here soon. Actually, that's a lie. I have no idea when your mom's gonna be here, but you don't understand that anyway, right? You just know you feel terrible and you really want your mother. You know, they say babies can sense things, so I know I'm not fooling you. I'm way out of my element here. I never wanted to be a mother. I mean, the maternity clothes alone. Whew, please. And then I just don't do sensible shoes. Okay, it's kind of more than that. I'm just scared to have anyone need me that much. And I don't really want to need anyone that much either. I just don't think I could love someone that much, you know? But then oh, I look at you and I see you struggling to breathe. And my heart wants to burst. You have to be okay, Emma, please. Oh, thank God you're here. Oh. I apologize for the delay. We've been swamped with the patients. They turned away from general. Yeah, I understand. Uh, how's my daughter? She's been diagnosed with pneumonia, and she has labored breathing with sternal retractions. Uh, we've been giving her breathing treatments and have had her on oxygen. Now, we've also given her cefotaxime, 600 milligram IV piggyback, but it hasn't had any effect. Now, we could up the dose to 10 grams, but... Yeah, I know, but then she could be at risk for... Permanent heart and kidney damage. Yeah. Thank you so much for getting Robin. Yeah, I'm glad I could do something. Did you hear anything about Patrick? As far as I know, he's still in the hospital with a bunch of other people. They're stuck up on the 10th floor. They lost all telephone communication, so they're using Spinelli's computer. Spinelli is there? Yeah, he's the only way they can communicate with the outside. Wait, let me get this clear. Spinelli, my Spinelli. My very best friend in the whole world is trapped on the 10th floor of a burning hospital? I'm sure they're going to evacuate him, Maxie. Yeah, and he will probably be last because A, they need his computer to communicate, and B, Spinelli wants to be a hero. He's way too good and trusting and easy to manipulate. He, he needs someone there to protect him. He'll be fine. No. He needs someone who's selfish, who will be selfish for him. He needs me. But I can't leave Robin. Spinelli is probably so focused on helping other people that he doesn't realize the danger that he's in. The people in charge will get him out, Maxie. Yeah, and he'll probably be last, and then it could be too late. Um, how's Emma? Well, Dr. Scorpio needs a little time to weigh her options. I'll be back soon. Hi. Is she okay? Emma's real sick, but uh, she's a strong girl, aren't you, Emma? She's gonna be fine. Is there anything that you want me to do? Can you go get Patrick for me? And make sure he got out of General Hospital safely and tell him to come right away. Yeah, that's what you want. I'll be back, Emma. I'm gonna get your dad. Thank you, Maxie. We're going back to the hospital.
good story, which will have to be revised when you get older. So I'm just going to tell you now because, well, you're sleeping and you're too young to understand it. <laughs> well, let's just say that Daddy was uh, busy with a nurse on an operating table when I met him. <laughs> I instantly loathed him and was very attracted to him at the same time, which I know may sound very crazy, but you'll understand what I mean when you get older. He was what we call a womanizer. But then as I got to know him, your daddy is the most wonderful, and kind, and patient man that I have ever met. And the biggest miracle of all is that he fell in love with you, his little girl. Your daddy loves you so much. And so do I, Emma. I love you so much. Can I be okay? How's the patient? Um, she's better, I think. Well, if she hasn't improved, you're going to have to make a decision now. I'll get you for count as soon as possible. Hey, how's Robin and the baby? Hey, uh, the doctor's still checking on Emma and they're deciding what to do, but Robin wanted me to come back here and see if there was any word on Patrick. They're still handling the evacuation on the 10th floor, but we lost communication a little while ago. Oh my god, Spinelli was handling all that. He managed to keep us in communication until now. Well, did something happen to Spinelli? Is it that bio whatever? We think the network infrastructure was destroyed by the fire. There's no reason to assume the worst, Maxie. God, I need to know if he's okay. Where's that helicopter gonna land? Even if Spelling was poison, there's nothing you can do, okay? You, you'll just be in the way. Head for the north stairwell. The instructions are five and six. I'm coming to save you, Spinelli. And if I ruin my shoes in the process, you're getting me a new pair. Well, news is good. Her vitals have improved markedly. She seems to have made a turn. Thank God. <laughs> it's amazing they don't teach it in medical school. What's that? The power of a mother's love. <laughs>